After months of feuding, Afghan President Ashraf Ghani and his rival Abdullah Abdullah signed a power-sharing agreement on Sunday, a step that could smooth efforts to end the country's long-running war. At a signing ceremony in Kabul, Ghani called it a historic day. While Abdullah said that though agreement had not been easy, a big step had been taken because instability, quote, could have plunged Afghanistan into chaos. Abdullah had disputed the results of an election in September and announced the formation of a parallel government earlier this year, undermining Ghani's administration at a time when the US was trying to advance a peace process with the Taliban to end 19 years of war. Washington has been frustrated by the growing impasse and had announced plans to cut $1 billion in aid because the men couldn't agree. Shortly before the deal was signed, sources said Abdullah had wanted to control a major government portfolio, such as finance or foreign affairs, and that while Ghani had not agreed to this, he could offer control of the interior ministry. Officials say a lasting deal between Ghani and Abdullah is crucial to launching peace talks, as Abdullah's camp represents much of the country's northwest. But the talks face a number of stark challenges, as highlighted by an attack on a Kabul maternity ward this week. The Taliban has denied involvement, but the government has remained sceptical and angry at ongoing Taliban attacks against the Afghan military.